Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build a form in ClickUp. I know you can make forms for at any level in the hierarchy, except for the everything level. So you can create the form at the space level, the folder level, or a, a list. Most often I use it as a list because even if you create it, here I have a test form at the space level, and it, I still have to choose a list in that uh, space to save the task to. So there's really no reason to uh, to, um, to create the format at the space level. I, the use uh, case is more common to have the form at a list level where you want the task to go. And also if you've got certain templates that are apply to that list, it's just a little bit cleaner to do it at the list level. So I think intuitively it just makes more sense and it's what you're probably thinking when you see a form. So anyways, so how to quickly build a form. I just want to make this. So I'm going to go to one of my lists and I'm going to go to my demo list here. And I want to create a form. Now, the first thing you want to know is what custom fields you want to use or what fields you want to use to have in your form. Um, let me hide my space here. I'm going to add a view because the form is a view. It's a form view. So I'm going to choose form and I'm just going to call this sample. Um, and I like to pin it so it's easily accessible. You can also favorite it later after it's been pinned. So we're going to add the list, add the form rather. And here we have the form building area. So over here are all the fields that are available at that lit on that list. And you can drag and drop whichever fields you want right into your form. Do be sure you're, especially if you're making changes to a form, you're going to need to be on the editing tab right here. Viewing is great if you want to kind of see how your form looks uh, before you send it out, or you can even, if you want to be the one to fill out the form, you can do that from the viewing tab. But I just, just want to make this uh, really quick on building the form. So uh, tasks, so to just drag over which field you want. You want the task name, um, you know, maybe you want the due date, and you can choose if these fields are required or not. And you could have, um, you know, a questionnaire custom field and set that you can still, let's say that's not required and um, you can have that filled out and that will go straight to your demo list and if I wanted to apply a template I could have a template applied to the task that's created again forms create tasks and they didn't allow two new tasks on the list the most common use I have for forums is really internal to either input an idea that I have of something I want to do or to assign a task to somebody else um, on my team or on the team of my, my client's team. So that way, uh, it's a really great way to communicate assignments. Uh, but this is how you build a form. You just simply drag and drop those fields. I like time estimates. So I'm going to put that in there. Um, and I want to see what it looks like. Okay, it's nice and short and that's fine. So edit. Again, we've got the fields, you can change colors, you can have ClickUp branding, not ClickUp branding. Uh, ReCAPTCHA I use, but only if it's an external form that I'm sharing, say, you know, on my website or something like that. But if it's just an internal use, I don't think we need the, the ReCAPTCHA. All right, so that's quickly how to build a form. I hope that helps. Uh, again, you just click on, you view, you add a form, a form view, and then you drag and drop the fields. If you think of a field, something you want on your form and you don't see the a field for it, you can create, add a custom field right there. It'll bring up your custom field library. You can choose which field you want and plug it in there and then move it um, over. So, and you can also, edit the names. Like sometimes I will edit instead of due date, I'll say, you know, when do you need this by? And so you can edit these task names. Sometimes I like to, uh, it depends on, uh, like if it's an idea for a video I want to do, I'll say, you know, I might say it is my video idea form. I might say like video title video topic or something like that. So you can totally edit those and that's a really nice feature. So that's quickly, that's how you build a form in ClickUp. Thanks.